What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off happened last time, we eliminated the Danes and the Prussians from the game and we are now well on our way of doing that with Sweden. We are attacking the city of Lisbon and then they only have their last remaining troops in Norway to be destroyed. So let's go and capture Lisbon. There are no Swedish troops nearby immediately. Sweden still does have a good number of troops on the field in general. However, they are not able to respond to our attacks. They are in southern France. They can't get to the... Uh, they can't reinforce their armies in Lisbon or in Portugal or in Norway uh, without having without using the sea and they have no access to the sea because their only fleets remaining are uh, stuck in the Baltic. So this is going to be brief and bloody but critical. Put my melee infantry on the flank up here like a cavalry type unit. Actually no, you stay this flank. Mamelukes go out on the right, still. Artillery in the centre. Artillery can open up. Maybe with shrapnel, yes. That shrapnel is going to do so much damage. Mortar garrisons have been routed from the shrapnel shot alone. Okay, the gunners pick actual targets for your shrapnel shot now rather than attacking the same pocket of destroyed and humiliated mortar troops. Oh, Some misses. Let's run the Mamelukes up. Okay, if we're going to knowingly charge up men into the f into the flank to uh, melee attack, let's create a bit more of a sensible line. And them high up on the ridge means that they will be more susceptible to our canister shot than we will be. Run my semi around the chem out around the flank. Probably to be honest, it looks like the armed um, citizenry are gonna go under. So you guys attack them until they're shattered. Keep pushing. Roll them up. You're going to do some good damage there. How else has switched to a round shot? Swarm, swarm, swarm. turn off our artillery out of shrapnel shot because that's going to cause way too much damage and the entire army oh nearly the entire army's collapsed there's still a couple of units here that are holding on but uh, not for long
just charge them down to make sure they don't come back. There they go. The garrison has collapsed. It looks like there's nothing you can do about it. Well, there we go. That's uh, Lisbon taken. So again, there's no... The only Swedish troops nearby is this two units of grenadiers. Let's replenish. Let's knock down the university. Let's get a madrasa built. Let's pick up all these upgrades and probably build walls. Sweet, because now these guys are stuffed. <laughs> they can't. They might be if they wanted to, they could probably run straight for Paris. But it looks like they probably won't really want to, in which case I might move these guys up to Paris as well, just in case. I don't think these guys could sail and land and hit Norway or hit um yeah, can't hit Norway in one turn anyway. Let's build loads of madrasas, but I will want to keep an eye on how well we are doing when it comes to converting the population, because I want to start to replace these madrasas with um, industrial buildings to help boost our tax base. There's a lot of buildings in Italy. Good. It's got a spy here. It doesn't really have a purpose. But then again, they'll probably start to form a key component of the armies I want to send over to the US. So that's all of this stuff has been dealt with. You haven't done the port, Sardinia. Here, have a trade port. Build some roads. The army at Cagliari is replenishing. Sweet. So now again, the diplomacy tab is looking a lot uh, tidier than it previously has been. So right now we are very friendly with Britain, but that will not last. We're going to declare on them and uh, destroy all of their troops. And also it'd be interesting, I mean, we might spur the deployment of the, or the, the emergence of the United States. They demand an alliance and free trade doctrine. No. We're not on the same level, Britain. Not anymore. We are the dominant power in Europe, and there's not a lot they can do about it. I'll quickly shut my window. That's how professional I am. Don't worry, Mughal Empire, you'll get yours. We'd land and take Britain and Iceland as well, because it looks like that's also under their control. Yeah, they've kicked into gear and started doing raiding, but it will not help them. It will not help them one bit. Keep building, keep building, keep building. We can invest it we can invest now because these guys aren't gonna be a problem. The Spanish may still kick up a fuss, but let's have a look. Stopped by a gentleman. They've got a ragged letter of demands from Portugal. That won't last. Yeah, they've they've got used to us already. Spain just has a ragtag garrison here. Once we knock out Sweden, then this army can march up and attack Tangier. Awesome. Yeah, let's fix some stuff. Okay, now I've got one madras, so I might actually... It's a bad idea to build two. Don't want to build up the roads either, because that will increase the rate at which they can send their troops around my territory. 
up to 130,000, so we are growing still. Which is pretty good. So I want to try and find the armies that aren't needed in their towns. Like, you're not needed. You can go into Cuxhaven. Can this army leave Cologne yet? Minus three. One more turn. Can you guys leave Amsterdam? Unlikely. Minus eight. Yep. Yeah. Can you guys leave Brussels? You can. Let's get you into a port. Looks me to land and hit. London, Edinburgh, Dublin. And we do also need to sail troops up to go hit um, Iceland, which we have visibility of because we still have a Eastern Scholar up here from way back when. Lots of pikes, lots of light artillery. This army's pretty knackered, so we might not actually... Oh my! Right, 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 right. Can you guys leave Copenhagen? Yes, good. Let's get you aboard ship. Deploy your men off of the coast of Norway. Hmm. That's a lot of troops. And you are kind of depleted, but not really. You don't have any howitzers, that's the problem. Hmm. So you might, we might have to withstand a bit of raiding from the Swedes here temporarily, unless... We run well, so you over to that bridge, you guys pick up your Delhi horsemen and then go hold here. You're holding that bridge, and you push up to about here. Just to kind of pen them in, so there's a limit to where they can go. And we're slowly starting to convert them towards the true faith. Okay, so I want to see what happens up here. I'd like to wait one turn and try and see if I can get Suleiman uh, Haki to attack the city. Because he could... Actually, it's an open field battle, isn't it? No, I probably don't want to attack them. Not with this army. Hmm. Okay, let's check... We haven't check the stuff we can build, which is like clearances... Let's get this sloop over to Brest. Lots of stuff he's building in Sweden. Let's upgrade the Madrasa. 100% Protestant is because they've got an agent up here holding them back. Once we defeat Sweden, then they will, the Protestant will disappear and all of our, well, most of our regions will start to become Followers of the true faith. So we've still got a priest up here at Archangels, but still chipping away at converting population up here. Um, keep dropping money on these industry upgrades wherever I see them. Although it's going to be kind of a bit tricky to pick them out on the map. At some point I need to go and I need to take Turin, but I'm really I'm focusing on Sweden. That's my goal. I can probably leave Cagliari. Let's get into the port. Top tier buildings, Morea. Let's upgrade your farm to a palatial estates and wine estates. Maria's got a commercial port, which we need to sail on these ships back to occupy. You're still on your way over to Baghdad. Baghdad's almost finished recruiting another full army. So this ship, these ships here, now we control pretty much every, nearly every port in the Mediterranean. 
Let's repair this trade port here. Okay, Malta's 100% Islamic. Because my Imam is great. So let's get my Imam on the shore. I might want to send him... I might want to send him back around this way to mop up some of these little holdouts we've got of different religions. Upgrade the port here and then build a light galley to hold it. Okay, sit in turn. My spies continue to advance. <laughs> they demand French Guyana. They're going to give us Iceland. Mm. It's actually kind of tempting. That would mean it would a uh, it would uh, mean one less territory to capture of Britons. But I don't want to give up French Guiana because that's quite a good region to hold. Looks like they might go and declare on us any way to get it. Hmm. The Mughals aren't joined. Uh, less auto resolve, just in case. Oh, we took out two. Oh, we took out two of their ships. Now then they captured our ship. Our army is in Curacao, so I think we can quickly redeploy them to Guyana. Ooh, we are being attacked by the garrison. Okay, let's do that. The garrison and the small reinforcing army is coming after us. So I'll fight them with my depleted army, because they're up to the task of doing that. But then if we get attacked by those armies behind, I will likely withdraw. And then allow my fresh army to march up and take their position. Okay. Deploy my artillery like where it is already. Let's create two infantry blocks got a mixture of not necessarily great cavalry I've got Azars and Seminis the risks of souls and bashies are good though okay so they've rather handily just sat back as far as they can possibly get. So my artillery is going to pound theirs. Although it's a bucket of mortars, so let's get our cavalry pushing up quickly yeah, you guys keep hitting their guns attempt to get some kills and clean them out it's like the provincial cavalry are deploying to try and hold us up deploy them into squares Send in my Delhi cavalry as reinforcements. You guys get out of square. Same with you guys. You continue to push up. How the hell are these guys going to get up here anyway? So if I set them to go like here. Well, I suppose the best thing to do is to set them to move up and see where they actually end up going. Risks of souls push up. Cavalry get over here to come and fight the militia on the flank.
push up on the left. The camels look like they might have to take a bit of a weird route to get in. Fight your way up the up the up the the plateau. Ooh, pikemen? No, run my Delhi cavalry away. My riskers of souls will wait for your pikes, though. Good. Let's redeploy my men to help fight musket battle while my camels do good work. We're gonna have to bash through these units one at a time. Now oh, the reinforcements are coming in from over here. Oh, where did my Delhi horsemen go? Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. Delhi. Oh, they routed because I didn't pay attention and they got charged by pikes. Fair enough. So run my camels through the infantry here. Because I need them to go hit those guns. Arm um, citizenry, dragoons and heavy cavalry, that's not good. Send the camels in. They can secure the position. There we go. We can hit the we can hit the crewmen. We can hit the mortar crews. Go hit the artillery crews. Can you deploy in square? I'm not sure how useful that's gonna be, but. Okay, then if you guys can run, ignore the militia. Ignore the militia, ignore the pikes, and just run into the 5th. The 9th regiment is going to break imminently. Let's help it with our guns. No, ignore them. Firstly, charge the horse artillery. Who's that coming in now? Mercenaries. Hey, they've left us alone. May as well keep fighting because their artillery's limbered up, so it will just it'll just destroy destroy itself. Okay, good. Infantry on this flank has folded. Our troops have experienced some morale discomfort. Oh, these guys are hidden! Okay, let's run my guys up here. Ah, they're visible! Charge! My riskers of souls don't give a damn. Don't stand still and let them shoot at you. Actually, ignore the gunners. Charge into the back of these men back here. My risks of souls saw off the garrison militia. These Israelis can get back into position. My Azars that currently had no role get involved. My Seminese can go here. Artillery attack. The militia at the rear. So who else is coming in from here? Another regiment of foot. Ah! 
pikemen, run away! Okay, these enemies have fallen. So let's push up and take the the hill for ourselves. All these men charged the mercenaries, the Bashi Bazooks, fortunately, are taking quite a good route. Because that means they're going to hit the Swedish infantry from the rear. Charge! Choppy the chop. Pokemon are wavering. Okay, let's change, let's pivot this Janissary Grenadier unit because they're starting to get a bit upset. Let's pick our guns to engage the second regiment. Okay, now you guys charge in the uh, pikes as well. Although it looks like one thing to remember with pikemen is that they do have morale problems. So you guys charge on into the enemy of foot line infantry. The camels will likely die to the infantry, but that's okay. These forces are just to uh, hold up and destroy and damage the Swedish forces while... Oh, can you fire at will? You're not actually shooting. Gun them down with close range musketry. Unsurprisingly, some Swedes have returned. So run up my troops. My men are swarming around to get to the uh, this last Swedish unit. They like shooting my Riskers of Souls. That's what they like. So let's spin them around and charge them downhill into the militia while they're going to get engaged by my infantry from the rear. So these men, the 29th, they're fighting off the camels in the uh, in this corridor, but then to the rear. Here comes the Bashi Bazooks, madmen with big swords. Yep, yeah, that was enough. They've lost their strength their stomach, their will to fight. These militia did not like my Riskers of Souls. So the thing is with Riskers of Souls, I think their morale is just crazy good. Morale 20 compared to like a Janissary Grenadier is 13. General's 14. Like, it's, the morale is just so good, and the melee attack is really high. But I think their defence is... Yeah, defence 12. Yeah, they're not as... They got it, they're a bit vulnerable to, vulnerable to being shot at, because they are just guys with swords. There should be everyone, right? Oh no, there's a... Yeah, I was going to say. 14th Regiment. There we go. I think that's everyone. Yes. So the army that's currently got the city under siege has taken the first hit. If they continue to push on, we will likely want to uh, withdraw that army and send in the good one. It looks like they are making waves to try and get Paris, but they know there's no... There's no alternative. They either take Paris or they lose. They are wiped from the face of the earth. That's their realistic scenario.
Whereas our realistic scenario, trade agreement cancelled with Britain, unsurprisingly, because we, because they, uh, they, they declared war on us. Let's move some Nizam over to Hanover just to make sure they don't completely rebel. Good, 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 good. 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 Okay, so this army under Suleiman. Actually, if I attack them from another direction. I was wondering if that would. Okay, it doesn't really bring in any of their reinforcements at all. But yeah, looking at the timer though, I think that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the final defeat of the Swedish Empire. Cheers, everyone.